It is a big idea. A new world order. In a pivotal scene reminiscent of 9-11, we see the destruction of skyscrapers and the change of a skyline. Second anniversary of the 9-1-1 attack on the World Trade Center, George Bush asked for an $87 billion increase in military spending. In 1904, Crowley would receive the Book of the Law soon after meditating in the King's Chamber of the Great Pyramid. He claimed he had been contacted by a being called Aiwas. Crowley would also use this symbol in his work. Some of its meanings are said to include a reference to the number 77 in Hebrew and a connection to the god Pan. Crowley made this drawing of a non-human intelligence he saw during the much overlooked theory has been put forward on the internet that when we are looking at George W. Bush, we are actually seeing Alistair Crowley's grandson. I have suggested that this video footage of George W. Bush reading The Pet Goat, coinciding with the start of the 9-11 mega ritual, is in fact a dedication of the 9-11 mega ritual to the great god Pan by Alistair Crowley's grandson. El Mundial de Sudáfrica ya tiene balón oficial, es el Jabulani, que en su luz significa celebrar. Pero el Jabulani representa mucho más, el colorido del continente africano y la variedad cultural de Sudáfrica, donde conviven 11 comunidades. Por eso el balón está decorado con cuatro diseños conformados por 11 colores. El presidente de la FIFA, Joseph Blatter, que asistió a la presentación, afirmó que el balón es todo un símbolo. Según las autoridades locales, el Jabulani representa las aspiraciones de Sudáfrica y con él se intenta reconocer la diversidad del país. This night is the Arturo. The Masonic God is not the same God as the Bible, which the Masons call the Adona. The Arturo has been described by Christian minister Kevin Brian Brennan as an unholy compound of the Hebrew name of God. With the heathen names of Baal and Osiris. The highest ranks of Freemasonry utter Yahuwah as the one sacred and mysterious name of God. Yahuwah is a tripantheon Masonic God, in part deified as the historical Baal, which the Oxford English Dictionary confirms as being a Hebrew word. Baal is the chief male deity of the Phoenician and Canaanite nations. To the tribes of the Old Testament, Baal was the devil 